Next, let's queer up gay culture. Is gay media doing what all media is doing? Clickbaiting the headlines? Have you noticed a change in recent years in television, newspaper, and online media, and how they attract you to read and listen? Well, renowned comedian and HBO host Bill Maher has its stirring controversy once again with his new book, What This Comedian Said Will Shock You. That's the name of his book. The title of the book is a play on clickbait that is seemingly to become pervasive in our, in our society. The book hit the New York Times number one on the bestseller list. In this insightful and humorous work, Marr delves into what he perceives as America's societal pitfalls, from its culture wars to its political stalemate. A notable excerpt from Marr's book tackles the, co the contentious issue of historical revi revisionism, particularly in how history is taught to younger generations. Marr criticizes both liberals and conservatives for their respective attempts to manipulate historical narratives for political gain. He warns against the dangers of rewriting history to fit contemporary moral standards, listening to it, quote, fan fiction rather than factual accounts. He uses media growing reliance to sensationalize headlines and stories to get you to read and listen. He makes fun of applying modern standards to figures like George Washington, suggesting that being woke is akin to a magic moral time machine. One particularly striking statement from Marr addresses the tendency to congratulate oneself on moral superiority, such as having a gay friend, for example. In his new book, Marr also talks about gay media clickbaiting the headline. Is that true? Is us, Queer News Tonight, being blamed for it too? You know, I, I think everybody does it. I don't think it's just such a queer thing. I think that that is how you get people to read something, you know, on social media. You know, I'll say like, you know, I say what had a makeout session with, and then I put dot dot dot. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna tell you who it was. You know, I'm gonna let you try to find out and stir some controversy is in it. And I think Bill Maher is known for to do that. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's got he's got some interesting political insights, and he's got some crap. <laughs> political insights as well. And, you know, it, it's still, we still live in the U.S. and he still has the right to have his opinion on things, you know. Um, you know, um, I, I, I mean, there's, I, I think that everybody, uh, news, radio, newspaper, everything has, has used clickbait as getting their point across for many years. I don't think it's a new thing personally. No, it's a marketing tool. Yeah. You know, it's more or less to take you to another thing, you know, whether to buy something or, or read something or whatever it is. So, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a clever tool, but you, you know, for people like Bill Maher and stuff, you know, you just you walk a very fine line with things like that and pointing, you know, getting things across. So, um, yeah, well, we all know people's attention spans get shorter and shorter, and that these kinds of things, clickbait and things like what's the name of that company, Meta? Meta. They they <laughs> they, they ex, you know they exploit that yeah. any way they can. Anything bad, Yvonne, they'll turn off all I your didn't. stuff yeah. tomorrow. Okay, it <laughs> might be gone. <laughs> Oh shit, where'd my Facebook go? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's but how that it's, works. But it's true yeah, that, yeah. you know, they exploit the fact that they've find these exciting ways to get our attention because now they've helped us make, make our attention spans shorter and we're more impatient to get mm -hmm. to the information. So they think that that will work better. And so far, they're right. No, and, so, yeah. and, and you know, and sometimes it works against us. Uh, you know, I have seen in there's news articles like, you know, are our drag queens making our children gay? You know, something like that is going to stir up a controversy. It's going to mm -hmm. get you to click that next button to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. You know, do you ever click the what she looks like now? <laughs> no, I <laughs> have. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yes, and it's never the same person they're baiting you with. So don't yes. do it. <laughs> no, I think that they've used they've used my friend Raji and like you know it'll be yes. like oh look at this person now and it'll be like not her and I'll be like what the heck like you know and I'll send it to her like hey Raji they think you look like this person you know, you know and be like not them. If you're on like the the meta platforms, let's say like that, you you as much as I am, um, you get to see some of that fakeness and stuff and those clickbaits yeah. right away because you you can tell right away that it doesn't look right in terms of like that but yeah it, yeah it, it's very deceptive you know and you just you have to you have to really think about like you know if i'm a marketing person and, and i want to get my message across do i want to be deceptive about it and do i want to put that message out with my brand and stuff so i have to ask those questions yeah so, no i get it you know. and, uh, yeah because it, it's true there's a line between being deceptive and just maybe giving a little more like you know david archuleta i love him right he was on rock the block la this year last year whenever i don't even yeah, know what day it is folks so whatever right so he'll post a picture of himself like in sweatpants and you know he's not wearing any underwear right and he's doing it just like that 
that's clickbaiting, right? I'm going to check what the next picture is. I want to see you, you know, he's without a shirt and in just his sweatpants. That's the clickbaiting we need in life, all right? Show me a half-naked man or woman, I'll click again. <laughs> that's there it. we go. Yvonne, that's the only kind that's allowed from that's now it. on. That's it. You hear me, Facebook? Okay.